In this video I'd like to show you a method for calibrating the offset between the left and right nozzle on a dual extrusion printer and more specifically the Flashforce Dreamer and uh, I recently came across a calibration part on the Sailfish firmware uh, site and it seemed to be a very nice basic program with um, a very low print time of around uh, 2 minutes now, unfortunately the Sailfish program does not run on the Flashforce Dreamer due to inc incompatible M and G codes so I decided to make it compatible and add some changes uh, in the process like um, a figure for priming the nozzles and uh, modifying the pattern so the nominal offset um, is in the center of the pattern. So let's see how it works. The calibration program can be loaded into uh, the FlashPrint software for viewing and uh, for transferring uh, the file to the printer. In the top view we can see the calibration pattern with uh, two sets of lines. Um, the vertical lines are used for calibrating the X offset and the horizontal lines are used for uh, calibrating the Y offset. Um, the square shape is printed uh, first uh, to prime the nozzles before uh, printing the main pattern. And the center uh, line for each pattern is aligned in the program and should therefore also be aligned in the actual print uh, when you have a perfectly calibrated printer. The other lines in the pattern are increasingly misaligned with 0.1 millimeter increments. And this means that uh, the first line next to the center line has a 0.1 millimeter offset, the second line has a 0.2 millimeter offset, uh, and so on. This will allow you to find the offset in your specific printer. Uh, the nozzle offset can be found under uh, the tools menu and then under onboard preferences. In my case, the current offsets are an X offset of 34.2 millimeters and a Y offset of uh, 0.0 millimeters. Now, whenever you change these values, they are directly uploaded to the printer and become effective immediately. So uh, we're going to hit print and uh, see if these settings are correct. Before we start the print, make sure uh, to run some filament through the nozzles to prevent uh, missing lines at the start of the print. So the print is done. Um, when you look at the horizontal lines, the zero mark seems to be best aligned. And also for the vertical uh, pattern, the zero mark is best aligned, uh, meaning the current settings are indeed correct. It might be difficult to check alignment uh, by visual inspection without any magnification. An easy solution for this is to take a picture of the print and check the alignment pattern on the PC. And when magnified to 100%, it's actually easy to check the alignment. If two sets of the adjacent marks uh, are both equally well aligned, then you can choose either of these offsets uh, as they will yield similar results in the actual print. Now, due to the 0.1 millimeter resolution for the offset input in the flash print software, it's not possible to enter an offset that is in between the two sets of marks anyway. Since the printer is already correctly calibrated, we could stop here. But just as an example, let's input a positive offset of 0.2 millimeters in X and 0.4 millimeters in Y. The X value was 34.2 millimeters and therefore becomes uh, 34.4 with uh, the 2 millimeter uh, or the 0.2 millimeter offset. And for uh, the 0.4 millimeter offset in Y, the offset is changed from 0 to 0.4. If we run the same test print, we get the following results. On the magnified image, you can see that the X marks for plus 0.2 millimeters are best aligned. And for the Y, the plus 0.4 marks are best aligned. So this means the calibration procedure uh, works as intended. Let's see what the calibration program looks like. 
You can download the alignment program from my website, uptimefab.com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. I will not go into detail on all of the lines in the program, but I will discuss the main sections in the program and how to modify temperatures and feed rates to tune the program for your specific printer or filament. Uh, the G-code file is in plain text format, so it can be opened in any text editor like Notepad. Uh, the top section of the file is a generic section for dual extrusion prints on the FlashForge Dreamer. Um, the next section is a small square, um, uh, which was used to, to prime the right nozzle. Uh, this is followed by the main program, which lays down the line pattern for the right extruder. Then the active extruder is switched to the left extruder with this command, followed by the same square shape to prime the nozzle and the line pattern for the left extruder. The end of the file is again a generic section for the Dreamer to return the axis to their starting positions, turn off the, the nozzles, the heaters, etc. So let's go over some of the details that you might want to change in the program. In these two lines, the extrusion temperature is set, in this case to 210 degrees Celsius. Now I typically use this temperature for my Form Futura uh, modified PLA filament. Uh, if you need to, you can change uh, the temperatures from, uh, of the left and right extruder to a value that works best for your specific printer or filament. The print speed of the line pattern is 20 mm per second, uh, which converts to 1200 mm per minute. If you're having problems with adhesion to the bed or, and want to lower the print speed, you can easily do so by pressing uh, Ctrl H in your text editor and replace all of the instances of 1200 with a different number, um, in this example 600. This effectively reduces the print speed by 50%. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.